Well, we are hoping to bring you this video within seconds. Uh, breaking news from inside the Capitol building. Anti-Israel protesters just shut down the largest cafeteria on the Senate side, and they were chanting, according to our producers there, and they were saying that the Capitol police are chanting everybody out or be placed under, under arrest, and the protesters were shouting back, uh, this is the house of the people. The Senate can't eat until Gaza eats. Fox News has now learned that many of those activists are the same ones who interrupted Secretary Lloyd Austin's testimony earlier today during a Senate Armed Services hearing that was looking into the military budget. Now, we have seen so many of these protesters now show up, even outside the Wilmington, Delaware home of the president of the United States. They follow Biden around everywhere he goes now, every state. And they may not have been protesters, but the vote against him that was uncommitted in places where we've seen so much anti-Israel movement, like Michigan. In those places, those voters were above 100,000 voting uncommitted, not for Biden. So this is a political side. We have the video. Roll. So here it is. So protesters gathered, shutting down the largest cafeteria on the Senate side of, the Ca of Capitol Hill, making their voices heard, going back and forth with cops. They probably have a big student America debt reports loan. will be all over it. Stay tuned. Hey, everyone. I'm Emily Campagno. Catch me and my co-hosts, Harris Faulkner and Kaylee McEnany, on Outnumbered every weekday at 12 p.m. Eastern, or set your DVR. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page for daily highlights.